Welcome back to another episode of the Holistic Mental Health Summit. Today, we are here with Deanna. She is a licensed psychotherapist and board certified coach in the United States. Deanna holds several certifications in the healing arts, including Reiki and aromatherapy. She teaches the ethical integration of alternative approaches in practice and created Essential Soul Care, a psycho-spiritual model for healing professionals. She is the author of Chapter 18, Therapeutic Aromatics, Level Up Your Intuition with Contemplative Writing and Essential Oils. And today we're going to be talking about the Essential Soul Care Oracle Deck, which I'm so excited to play with. Welcome! Yay! Yay! This is great. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited. Tell us about this deck, please, and like how it came to be and all about it. So this is the guidebook that comes with the deck. And the deck is a set of 49 cards. Um, It is an Oracle deck. It's not a tarot deck. Um, and it's called essential soul care because it was really influenced a lot by my use of essential oils. So it's based on the chakra system and each card, each chakra has a suggested oil use and there are journal prompts with every card. So there's a total of 98 journal prompts in this deck. Um, so that alone is, you know, if you like to journal, then you'll love this. That is like Um, a gift to my heart. Like that many journal prompts really just gets me excited. (laughs) Yeah. And, and we break them up. Each card has a, a prompt for you in general. And then if the card comes in reverse, then we suggest you do the soul study prompt, which is a shadow prompt. Mm. So that's really getting to the deeper issues. Mm -hmm. Um, if you are a therapist or a coach listening to this, yes, you can use this deck therapeutically. Um, today we're going to do a typical Oracle reading with Laura, but you can also use this deck as a projective tool. Mm -hmm. So instead of a future casting, as some people say, or using it as a typical divination tool, you're using it for the client to tap into their own creative resources and their own intuition. Mm -hmm. Um, so just know that, and there's a course that goes with this deck. So if you're a therapist interested in that, then just, um, get in touch with me. But for today, we're going to just play with the cards, right? So Laura's going to, um, tell me what she wants to know about a little more about, Mm -hmm. and then we're going to do a three card spread. Okay. Let me tune in and see what I want to know more about. I'm trying to put this into words, like the expansion of my energy into freedom. That's what comes up. I want to know what I'm meant to, what I am meant to know or integrate or align to open to the expansion into more freedom energetically. Okay. So what does Laura need to know about her expansion into freedom? Mm-hmm. Okay. And the three card spread is the essential soul care spread, which is ESC. So the first card is enlightenment. Mm. So that's going to say, what message does spirit have for me regarding the question at hand? Okay. The second card is steps. What actions do I need to take now? Mm. And the third card is conclusion. What is my outcome if I consider the enlightenment given and follow the advised steps? I love this. Okay, so the first card is enlightenment. And I'm just going to pick a card. And the card that came up is true blue. Of course, it's a whale. It says truth, freedom, and authenticity, Deanna. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's the first card. We're going to pull the cards and then I'll, I'll talk about them. Okay. The second card represents your steps. Oh, and this is in reverse. Yeah, so mirror, this is, mirror. This is mirror, mirror. Yep, reflection, perception, reaction. Okay. And then the conclusion. What is my outcome if I consider the enlightenment and the steps? Glass half full. Abundance allowing. This is so on point with all the energy work I'm doing right now. Oh. Okay. 
I love this. I love this. Okay. So 15 is true blue. Um, and even though I co-wrote this deck with my colleague, Madison Lee Acreage, I always pull, I always just want to see what we channeled when we wrote this card. Yeah. There may be some other perceptions or intuition, intuitive hits I get, but let's just go with what the deck says. Okay. So this is truth, freedom, authenticity, the mindset and the throat chakra is what's involved. And the Oracle message is when whale energy appears, you are being called to free your mind and speak your truth, be authentic and transparent in how you feel and what you say creates a calmness yet empowered sense of being. Yes means yes. No means no, no apologies needed. The truth shall set you free. Mm. So the rep the recommended oil is cystus, which is also known as Rose of Sharon. Uh, if you use Rose of Sharon or cystus, you would anoint your throat chakra here. The crystal is lapis lazuli. Mm. The affirmation is I express my truth with ease. Mm. And the journal prompt is what three truths do you need or want to express what three truths do you need or want to express so what we suggest is that you take pen to paper for five minutes we're not going to do it now but right mm -hmm. you won't lift the pen you will just simply write what comes and i encourage you to use oils while you do that yeah and you will be surprised at what's revealed um and so if you, if you want to do a little more research, you can look up whale symbolism. Mm -hmm. Whale may be your, a spirit animal for you. Mm -hmm. It's been coming up big time in my field for the past like two to three months. So, yes. yeah. Okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the steps. Mirror, mirror is what came up. Reflection, perception, reaction. This is your solar plexus, belly, nourishment. Mm -hmm. um, this is our power center. Mm -hmm. And the oracle message is, it has been said that the eyes are the window to one's soul. What do you see when you look into the eyes of another? This is the time to be reflective of the relationships in your life, romantic or otherwise. What you see is being mirrored back to you for a reason. What bubbles up is what calls out for attention. When you take charge at your core, your belly settles and you feel your worth. Mm. So the essential oil is juniper. If you have juniper, anoint your belly. The crystal is tiger eye. The affirmation is I am worthy of love, kindness, and respect. This came in reverse, so you've got some study to do. And the journal prompt is, what is the core issue being reflected back to you from another right now? Yep. This is the expansion that I've been going through 100%. Okay. So I'm glad it's resonating. Yeah. And the final card is um, the conclusion. So if you consider the enlightenment, you take the steps what happens next mm -hmm. and it's abundance allowing and receiving this is your root so chakra sanctuary and the oracle message is there is always enough for everyone enough resources enough access enough sustainability enough joy enough love however it is up to us to ask allow and receive all the goodness life is offering us each day shift into a state of allowing and get ready for the goodness to fill up your cup Mm. and the essential oil is cypress so cypress would go on your root chakra which is your tailbone the crystal is red jasper the affirmation is i'm enough i have enough i give enough mm. and the journal prompt is reflect on a time when you received a blessing or a gift mm. so that's the three card spread. Um, 
you confirm that it, that it's matching your path? Oh, enormously. And that's exactly why I asked that question, why that came forward, because it's this, you know, anytime any of us expand in consciousness, we're expanding into more spaciousness and the nervous system gets twitchy. Like we're human, no matter how high consciousness you are, the nervous system is going to have a little bit of an adjustment when we expand. And so that's the feeling is that I have been and, and feel more freedom coming. Like I have been stepping into more freedom. I've been feeling more of it coming in my field just naturally as I align and do my spiritual work. And it's that nervous system, that solar plexus, like, you know, like what's going on. And so it's just bringing myself to center and continuing to, and it's happening through the, um, through relationships, like it's being catalyzed through relationships and what they're reflecting back to me. And so this is just inviting me into no more depth with it, which is, which is really where I've been called and probably not sitting with deeply enough. Right. And so it's a good invitation to be like those, that three truths question. I'm like, okay, I'm sitting with that. That's really like, that is really good. Like that's exactly what I need to do right now is to sit with the three truths. Well, and what the, what the prompts do and what the, what the messages do is bring us back to a blank slate, so to speak. Yeah. You know, we remove all of the 3D um, human being two feet on the ground, but in four and 5D, when we're reaching more spiritual heights, then we have to strip away the old. And yeah. so True Blue is about getting really back down to your true values. You, Who are you? Yeah. Take everything that's been, that's been, proposed or given to you or any expectation you have of, of how you are in the world and remove that. Yeah. And then what is your truth? And then mirror, mirror, you're, you're absolutely right. Your relationships with other people are sometimes the easiest way, not fun necessarily, but the easiest way to get to our core issue. Oh my God. Yeah. A hundred percent. I'm literally doing a podcast series right now on like, catalyzing um or using relationships to really catalyze your soul's deepest embodiment because it's that's why we're here like yeah. we're on this planet to to exchange with one another and get these reflections of our subconscious material and energy that's kind of housed within us that might be frozen or hiding yeah so if you're engaged with an, another person in your life romantic or otherwise yeah. and there's a certain feeling that keeps coming up then there you go yeah. That's what you need to work on. Yeah. Whether it's abandonment or codependency or nervous belly or whatever it is. Yeah. That's where you need to go and not necessarily go there with that person. Right. The mirror is there for you. A hundred percent. It's not about any of the relationships. It's not about the people. It's literally about the energy that's being invited to be catalyzed within me. hundred percent. Okay. So what's interesting is for you, the card glass half full came up which again is root chakra this mm -hmm. is all about you once you've stripped away your tabla rasa blank slate you now know who you are this card is telling you that you have every opportunity to feel so grounded and rooted yep. and, and what's, it's, it's what's the card of deserving uh, which i'm <laughs> which i've been having a little bit of trouble receiving lately <laughs> because that's where literally it was like two nights ago that I was tuning in to the Akash was something that had been catalyzed in a relationship, just this outpouring of love. Like I've just been receiving this outpouring of love. And it's just, I was being shown where there's areas of resistance in the body that are not fully opening to receiving all of that. And so literally over the past 40, 48 hours, I've been like really intentional about opening myself and inviting in and initiating that receiving from people, from spirit, um, because yeah, I think that's what's underneath it is the deserving piece for sure. And, well, and it's, oh, God, what were you going to say? Well, and the reason we include the oils and the crystals and the affirmations and the writing is because that opens you up for expansion. Mm, yeah, it just also, like, it also balances the left and right brain. Mm -hmm. So it also comes with a workbook. Mm -hmm. And funny this, the tagline is designing an expansive life. Mm. 
So I love it. I love the way that you've put this together because it's something that I really stand for and appreciate in my work, which is about not just the spiritual awareness and the appreciation of that, but the 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 concrete, like what are the steps yeah. we're going to take? And if you allow this guidance to come forward and you actually put it into action, this is what's available to you. Right. And I love that because it's like this, this pathway that in, in a very simple form that allows people to, to really feel and, and integrate what it's like to bring divine guidance into the human in a sustainable way. Yeah. And in the workbook, we even have crossword puzzles and word search because it's not, because you need to understand the language behind you know, it's a whole new lexicon for many of us. Yeah, yeah. When we first break open and get those first feelings of what I call spiritual attunement. Mm -hmm. um, and and we wonder where our tribe is. We find our tribe and they're, they're like talking a different language. Yeah. So yeah. We, we include, you know, a bit about teaching the language in the, in the workbook. I love that. Yeah. I mean, what are the chakras? Mm -hmm. Why Why does that matter? Why Why can't I just understand the oracle message and leave it at that? Well, and, and I love that. That's a really, I'm glad you're tuning into that because that's a really important part of the process that gets so easily overlooked and not recognized. I remember when I was first working with my Akashic Records coach years and years and years ago. And I remember just kind of looking at her in awe and being like, the way that you speak and things just kind of like roll off of your tongue and the words you use and the, the subtleties and the, the smoothness in which you speak is just mesmerizing. And she's like, you'll get there. And I was like, I don't know. And now that's what people are saying about me mm -hmm. when they look at me, they're like the way that you say things. And it truly is. It's a learned language. A hundred percent. Yes. And if you, if it's like with any language, right? If you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. But if you continue to work your spiritual journey, you will become fluid and fluent. A hundred percent. And the cool thing is that these, these words, like so funny, I'm working with a client now who just recently had this spontaneous awakening, huge, spontaneous awakening, wild. And she's saying things to me. She's like, I have never even heard of some of these words that are coming out of my mouth. Like, I don't even know what they mean. And it's so cool to witness somebody who's naturally like channeling and bringing right. forward the energy of this language that is literally coming out of her mouth without conscious understanding or intention or awareness. And I'm like, this, that's, what's so cool about it is it's not just about sit down and learn a new language. It's about, you know, do the work and connect to the energy and allow it to move through you and allow the language to arise. Yes. Well, and so you, you bring up a very good point because contemplative writing allows for automatic writing to take place mm -hmm. and automatic writing is channeled writing. Yep. So when Madison and I created the deck, we spent about four days hunkered down, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and we channeled, it literally was a channeled process because now it's very difficult for us to, to know or perceive who wrote which card. It just flowed out of us. And some of the things that flowed out of us, just like you said, I'm like, well, where'd that come from? Uh-huh. Oh, so, just gives yeah. me chills everywhere. And I'm just so excited that, that you took the space, especially with someone else to just, to just open the channel and let it flow. So yeah, it was awesome. It was an awesome experience. And I, I'm so glad it's out in the world now. Yes, me too. Celebrating it. I'm glad that we can bring awareness to it today and that we got to experience it and play with it and feel the sensations that came alive within it. And tell everybody how, like, who should get in touch with you? Who do you want to like, if they feel like what they should get in touch with you? Okay. So I don't do readings for, for the public. Yeah. I teach. Yeah. I teach. So anybody that wants to learn about how to do readings, either therapeutically or through divination, my course is going to teach both. Yeah. Um, and but the deck is for anybody. Right. You don't have to be a therapist, a coach, or 
the the book it it's very well explained um yeah. so it, it's good for anybody that's just into personal growth but the course is going to be both it's going to be personal growth and professional development and it will include ce's for mental health professionals so which is brilliant it, yeah 30 hours so wow really yeah well we're going to do a deep dive we're going to talk about jung and we're going to talk about projective cards and we're going to talk about the difference between divination and um intuition and uh, all of the things because really this falls into being culturally cultural humility understanding that spirituality is part of our culture yeah oh yeah right we all express it differently and as therapists some of us were taught differently mm -hmm. now all of the codes of ethics say yeah it's ethical to discuss spirituality with your clients yeah. to honor their spirituality mm -hmm. so i go into all of those edgy places mm -hmm. about when it's appropriate when it's not how it's appropriate how it's not um but the deck is just available for anybody who wants to play Thank you so much for doing this. And I know we've talked about this before, but the, the number of therapists that come to me and just say, I need to know how you made this transition because it scares the crap out of me. Yeah. yeah. My, and, and I remember I was the same way years ago yeah. when I was just like, I was scared out of my mind. I was like, they're going to take away my license. Is this ethical? Like, you know, all of these questions coming into play. And there was a lot of deconditioning from the therapy world and what I was taught as a therapist. And it's it's really it's really beautiful that you've put all this into one space in a way that guides people, but also assists them with growth and how to actually integrate this in a tangible way. So this is really valuable, and um, I encourage you guys to reach out, like just just chat with Deanna, ask yeah. questions about you know kind of what you're looking for, check out and start to play, like just get the deck and start to play with it and see how it speaks to you and let the energy lead you. And if you feel like you know what I want a deeper dive. She's obviously got the resources right there for you. So thank you for putting this together. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Holistic Mental Health Summit. Bye for now. Bye.